George Spitz. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I track some bass, how I do a little bit of punching with my vocal takes. I'm going to show you how I do a little bit of pre-mixing on my bass and vocals. I go to Waves plugins, and then I'm going to fucking track some versage. I got a 16 written for this fucking banger, and that sounds corny as fuck. So let's just, let's just go from here, from here. From here. About to see how I do this shit, baby. Yeah. That's so fucking corny, God. Ah. Well, kudos, cause I got nothing but love to give. Let's see I'm a running limb, somewhere they're letting me be. me. I'm having fun in this bitch, and suggest that you hear these. Apply the equation, replace me with you and repeat. So, hey. there'll be no playing from here. Screw you, I won't do what you want to. Ha. Do as we say. What the fuck is up, peoples? So today, first of all, welcome to the George Spitz experience. I don't even have a fucking name for this shit. We're just gonna have fun. I'm about to do some shit. You're listening to the sounds of Rebecca Mardal. Shout out to Rebecca. She's absolutely nasty, uh, shredding guitars and making insane beats as you can hear i reached out and i'm so glad that she was down and she sent me this I'm gonna spit um and it needs some bass so i'm gonna throw some bass on this thing thanks for coming along for the ride guys so yeah here we go um just gonna get started we're doing this together guys but yeah i'm gonna start off with some bass so let me just make a new track we're gonna throw some ba i like to say baj a little bajo a little baj you know um you'll you'll soon see that I try to make this fun and fucking stupid. Why not? But yeah, it needs a little bass. Shout out to this motherfucker. My new bass, the Corvette. Shout out to Nick at Guitar Center. <laughs> I love how this shit sounds. It's fucking amazing. Gonna go ahead and slap at the bass. I guess I should tune this bitch first, huh? Might be a good idea. And we're gonna tune to the evil tune. 440. I might move to 432 soon. I think the world needs it. And yes, I take 20 minutes to tune a fucking bass, so what? Alright. Yeah, there we go. So I just fiddle around. I try not to fucking take anything too, uh, a, like a planned attack. You know, it's not, it doesn't, things don't go as planned usually. I just like to jam, so I'm gonna fiddle around and get a little idea. Here we go. Try to put ideas down. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm getting something here. For underrun. Almost, almost. Let's go again. good take I'm gonna fucking add to that though and yeah I'm gonna start recording from here or a little bit before um, I just end up peeling it back a little so I don't go over what I'm doing here but I know where I'm at so yeah just to switch the vibe up a little there Sounding 
good. I don't want to use that boom, boom too often, so I'm going to take it off that. Actually, let's just hear it back. And um, I'm going to start fucking with shit. The R bass, I love. Gonna get that low, low out of it. Just boost it a little bit, you know? And um, that acts up as a compressor in a certain frequency, basically. I like to do multiple stages of compressing as opposed to one compressor doing all the work. It sounds a little smoother. It doesn't get just squashed by one. I like three compressors to do the job that one would do normally, just to make it sound more natural, you know? I mean, it depends what you're working on, though. If it calls for one to squash it, then fucking squash it. But what are we fucking doing here? I forgot. Am I... <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, so get it a little warmer. I love the Puig Tech. Shout out to fucking Waves, because these are such sick plugins. Just boost that 100, bring the gain down a little. And it's okay to distort a little bit if you fucking like it, you know? Use your ears. For a second, I thought I recorded too hot, but I think it's just these plugins. Dude, if it, if it sounds good, it sounds good. Don't trip too much about a little thing distorting here or there on your inputs. I mean, you do want to get your your signal fully, like, as clean as possible, but if one thing peaked or something, you got the magic of Pro Tools at your fucking hands or whatever DAW you're using, you know? So, um, I'm just going to fly it a little bit. That's all I need. I don't have this arranged. It's not like I'm just making this shit right now. So I'm looping it. I know that's the main vibe I want. And I know that I want to spit my shit. So I'm trying to just move along. I don't want to like stay too stuck on one thing. You already know. It's sounding good right now. Put a compressor on it. And, and this is the one that's really going to do the work. It's a compressor over the whole signal, not just that one frequency like the R bass. Shout out to JYs for schooling me to the R bass. I use that shit on kicks, dude. I, I use it on bass and kicks. I just love how it brings out like a specific frequency and keeps it a little controlled too in that in that range. But so talking about the multiple stages of compression that I like, I'm just doing two right now. I might put a limiter on it, so that'll be a third, just to make sure that shit sits. Um, and once again, I'm not mixing right now, so I'm not too worried about it. Fucking long of an attack. Yeah, yeah, sounding good. That's that one. Yeah, I gotta take that. Thank God for Pro Tools, man. Just take out what you don't need, you know? And now I gotta fly that shit again. And don't trip at the edits on any DAW you're using. Don't, tr don't trip on how fast or slow you're doing it. With time, you fly through this shit, just like you fly through anything you do for fucking ever, you know? The more hours you put into it, the more you're gonna get things done quicker and quicker. Sounds good. Yo, yo, yo. Mardal. This beat is nasty. This is... I love this beat. And I'm honored to be throwing bass on it. Let alone, I'm gonna fucking spit on it now. This is gonna be sick. Yeah, if I was mixing further, if I actually was trying to get to work on the mix itself, I would put a limiter off that after this, just like this. And this is just to ensure that the bass sits in one fucking level. This is kind of like, I like to do this with a lot of elements in the vocal too, the bass and the vocal specifically. Um, in the music that I'm working on, loud shit, the bass and the vocal, you want that shit to sit in the mix for the most part. Depends on what you're working on, of course. If something's more spaced out, if something has a little bit less action going on, you might want to let shit breathe a little more. This is just my flavor, this is just the way I do it. There's no rules to this shit, remember. No rules to this shit at all. And I would do that, I would just basically. 
So I choke the, the bass a little more with the limiter. And you can see how it sits now, like, look at that shit. It's basically like, look at it. You see how it just sits right there. You want that thing, in this case, for this beat, I want it to sit and just not interrupt the kick too much, not interrupt anything else too much, and just the, the kick and bass relationship need to be right. And I just feel like the bass needs to sit right under the kick so that kick can just bop, bop, bop. Yeah. Right on top. I'm spitting on everything. What's new? But yeah, I think it's time to put a fucking hook down, or my verse down. You, you. And I already got my chain set up here. Um, I'll go over the chain in another video. I have a de a compressor, a four band compressor, the C4, um, this EQ, another compressor, and I think there's more hidden in, in the fucking other inserts here. Yeah, I got a fucking limiter. <laughs> I just dragged this in from another session. I kind of like, kind of just got this from, uh, I brought this aux in. I, I usually route all my vocal tracks to one aux. Once again, there's no fucking rules, but uh, I find it easier and I don't have to put multiple, uh, the same plugins on multiple tracks. I could just route all my vocals to one if that's the vibe I want. If I need another vibe on another vocal, I'll make another aux track and route more to that. Cause I stack shit, you already know. I was using the decapitator on another one. Sound Toys, dude. Sound Toys is giving their shit the rack away for till June through this crap right now, so. All you engineers and producers, get your free fucking sound toys till June. It's like all the plugins in one rack, all the shit they have. I don't know about all of them, but most of the ones I use. It's got the Decapitator, the Echo Boy. I love sound toys. I love every... I, I just fucking love playing with all these shits. I'm just... So I know that my hook is going to be... It's an eight bar hook that I got in my head, but I'm gonna make it four for now. On the front, I wanna do the hook right before the verse, so. I'm just gonna quickly duplicate this section. And that shuffle mode, you know, just lets me squeeze that right in. So that's where I'll let it run, so I get a little running space. Then here. I'll start the hook, and then my verse starts here. Real simple arrangement right now. Not trying to get too crazy, just want to get my ideas down. Put this back to medium, and let's fucking record. I'm gonna put my headphones on so we can stay clean. You already know, you want your clean takes. I mean, unless you don't, whatever. There's no rules. There's no rule. That's the main thing you'll probably hear on this fucking video. There's no rules in every video. I need to stress. Anybody could do this shit, man. Yep. And I got my verse here on my phone. All written out. I'm so stoked. Okay, here we go. Rebecca, I hope you dig. <laughs> yeah. Mark Dahl George Spitz Yeah Lockdown I see I have a lot now So much that I'm not missing I know you really feel the distance Yeah huh. Twiddling thumbs has never felt so significant You never have time, we'll enjoy this fucking predicament Fuck my bong, this soul is getting a christening Must have needed a shift again Pretty sure someone's listening Or something, or maybe just you and I We're all one, there's no way you can run and hide I never seem to sing the way that I do inside But these days, it's feeling like do or die And staying silent would sound like a suicide Frequencies from a stranger remind me that I'm alive And overnight, we're turning a prototype Into you know that I'm down to ride I'm putting that on my life No new friends, my fucking ass 
Mardal murdered the beat, how the fuck could I pass? And aren't y'all certified human beings, where's the class? Gotta fight for your right, but no need to get BC to wipe your ass, just lock down I see I have a lot now So much that I'm not missing I know you really feel the distance, distance, yo Just lock down I see that I have a lot now Pro Tools, bro I mean, I know I have an old computer and shit But come in, bruh Let me just punch that shit I know you really feel the distance, distance, yo Just lock down I see that I have I know you really feel the distance Distance, yo, just lock down. I see I have a lot now. So much that I am missing. Yep, I know you really feel the distance, but do you? But do you? Just lock down. Yo, yo. Ha! Fuck yeah! Alright. I think that's the fucking take. Let's see. <laughs> yo! Mark Dahl, George Spitz, yeah, lockdown, I see I have a lot now, so much that I'm not missing, I know you really feel the distance, yeah, huh. twiddling thumbs has never felt so significant, you never have time, we'll enjoy this fucking predicament. Fuck my bong, this soul is getting a christening Must have needed a shift again Pretty sure someone's listening Or something, or maybe just you and I We're all one, there's no way you can run and hide I never seem to sing the way that I do inside But these days, it's feeling like do or die And staying silent would sound like a suicide Frequencies from a stranger remind me that I'm alive And overnight, we're turning a prototype Until you know that I'm down to ride I'm putting that on my life no new friends, my fucking ass Mardal murdered the beat, how the fuck could I pass? And aren't y'all certified human beings, where is the class? Gotta fight for your right, but no need to get BC to wipe your ass Just lock down I see I have a lot now So much that I'm not missing I know you really feel the distance, distance, yo Just lock down I see I have a lot now so much that I am missing. Yep, I know you really feel it. I'm gonna punch that now. Whoop. Now. Now. There's so much that I have been. Now. There's so much that I've been missing. But I don't really feel the distance. Nope. Yo, just lock down. Yo. Sweet. Yeah, it feels good. In another video, or the next video, or fucking one of them, I'm gonna go over this chain that I got here. Um, yeah. This is uh, not the fixed chain I use on everything. I just use this on this one. But it, it does consist of most of this. And yeah, I'll go over it. And I, I would usually do some like ad-libs and stacking, but kinda wanted to do just touch base a little, you know? Get 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 situated the little bits and we'll get into detail. We'll do more stacking and fucking I'll show you all that shit later Not that I need to show you but I'll show you how I do it. Yeah, dude. Stay tuned. I fucking appreciate you guys So yeah, once again, I want to thank Rebecca Mardal the first one dude first little fucking Screen thing, you know, you're there with me here. You're not but you're here. I love it. Stay tuned Got more of these planned I'm a lot more collabs and all that shit. You already know George Spitz out. Llama beats, baby. <laughs> yeah.